hit like, share, subscribe. Hit like, share, subscribe. Come on now. You can do it. You can help off the armor. Subscribe. But anyhow, we finna go. We finna go back to our grave. But don't forget us. This is your Aunt Linda who died on the Titanic. Man, they gave us no lifeline. No lifeline for us. We died on the Titanic. Come on now. Hit like and subscribe. You know, you can't talk about Marceau. You can't talk about Martel without talking about the thugs, passion, women who love to date bad guys. Yeah, you guys, I have to bring my book out. Y'all know the drill. Women who love bad guys. Women who love bad guys. Yes, Marceau and Martel, two does yes he's handsome he wears a three-piece suit or he wear his jean off of his butt ladies a jailhouse tattoo gold chain around his neck he hangs out on the street corner with his grill showing smiling and hustling and steaming women's and cunning women's cunning the wives you know cunning the women's the mistress convinced that you're in love. Hey, Alanda, are you in love? Hey, Coleslaw, are you in love? But you in a love with a thug. They don't return love. They're married, girls. They married, but you don't care because a thug is your thing. You just don't care. You just crave him. You crave him because you convinced that you're in love. Passion at night. Like chocolate, you crave him. Like chocolate, Arian craved this man. She can't get rid of him. She can't stop loving him. She can't leave him alone. Oh, Alanda, Denise, you've been blasted by Arian. Arian says that you are in love with with my soul and that you were begging her and apologizing to her because you don't want your reputation run. Yeah, like chocolate, you crave these men like an addict who needs that next hit. You know, he's the last thing that a nice girl like you need because he's married, girls. Alondra, he's married. Coleslaw, he's married. And what adventure book him can get you exposed or put you in prison because the thug's passion is your world. Did you go to Africa with that man? Did you go to Africa and coleslaw you over here? Thomas said, na 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 move over, Melody, because you thought you was going to get married. And then there is the wife in the background, Tisha. Tisha, what are you going to do? Your man is in love with another woman. He's so in love that he took her all the way to Africa, allegedly. So young. But this is my whole thing with it. Damn. And I'm not saying I'm leaning towards it or not. Um, I'm not saying I'm leaning towards it or not. I'm just saying, damn. With baby coming from the topic anyway, why get paid for my plan? You, like, if, 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 if I did, that would be the reason. Like, I mean, shit. I think it's only gonna make y'all check it off my store. Like, huh, huh. Ain't it make the boy? Ain't this the one she made it there, guys? Who? The only one made it there, guys. She just said that, um, that, uh, Kendrick was broke. Kendrick actually took up with you on the truck. She did? Yeah, Kendrick told him, don't call you no side chick, because you're not one. Oh. Um, 
Well, that I was definitely that way too much. Yeah. Has any of Marco's bitches, have you heard his shit coming out, or he still writing shit under wraps? He got his shit under wraps. He, um, shit, Marco and Carlos and Tisha ain't crazy. They don't think they're not good. Okay, that's cool then. That's cool. Tisha, Tisha, but tread lightly. So I won't say that then. She better not be on there talking shit about me. Y'all think well, that, um, I'm not serious. Um, I don't think that uh, they talk though. Remember, y'all think she's um, um, talking to um, I think her teacher's still mad. Yeah, I mean, teacher, when you're about to say the same thing, when I said it, he didn't say it. Well, you know, teacher, I'm sorry, but I'm going to be a teacher. Yeah, I'm going to be a teacher. 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 And that's on that. That's no, because people can say all the time that Marco and Tina on their girls' bed. Ain't no man came out. Ain't nobody said nothing. I don't think they said it was Alonda and Alonda uh, said that they went through. Do you know that she got on live with him and that's about yeah. it? Damn, did you know that that's really true? He was fucking her and for years, though. And I put that on everything. For oh, real? Really? For years, Dana. And that bitch is both. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Marco was really fucking young. Yes, yes. Are you, are you sure? Because they girl got on and said that was a lie. Dana, me and my kill fell out, like, couldn't believe it. Like, Dana, if I'm lying, I'm lying, my big ass ain't lying nowhere at this point. And I don't promise you. Wow. I couldn't believe it. After, and I was trying to teach you out of that shit, bitch, you don't lie when you're stupid. At least my ass never was trying to be friendly. Stuff <laughs> up. If I'm lying, I'm lying. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So it's a that he's been missing. I don't think they still messed around for her to do that. Hell, I heard that they had stopped start that messing around. They stopped and they start that. I feel so weird. <laughs> <laughs> you know my baby shadow is too. I know. You know it. Baby so, Alonda, I guess it's too because Martha, Martha got the money now. Martha gone. I just have to tell you. And, and, um, so mm -hmm. he must have seen her ass to be quiet. Has to, has to, for her to get on live like that, had to. She definitely was busting myself for a while. Remember me one line when she said, Yeah, if you're trying to get a line to do teach your hair or whatever it takes. Let me what let me be telling it. She wanna lie, she be lying about life shit. She wanna lie about that. Yeah. 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 She be lying. She went on. I ain't no motherfucking way you know. So if you mark in there, okay, you got on fire and say you can get from here. Oh, cute. Oh, did, did, did you say that he tried to pay me? <laughs> I said if they could have paid you some good money to tell you to get out there and say it went through, you would have done it. No! No, I see y'all bitches that got out there and told all our bitches for two pieces. No! Let's discuss. No! Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I don't know what made her do that. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't I don't know. I do I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I I don't I don't know. I don't know. I don't I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't I don't know. I so she, you know, right, but she didn't think about me, and I just want to say she's going to me. I don't think she was discussing you in a bad way. What bad way? Well, I don't know. Okay, she was. Well, she was. I don't know. And this is where the whole thing was. And that's all I know. I'm about to see her and feed my child. I'm going to make my food. What you thinking? You still eat me? No, I don't. 
So you heard it, this secret telephone call between Arian and her friend Dana discussing Marceau Mar Scott and Alonda. Yeah, Arian knows she said that she don't know why that girl got on there and lied like that. They must have paid her. Hmm. Secrets, secrets, secrets coming out. Well, stay tuned, you guys. This tea is juicy and all the pieces are coming together. Now, on a sneak peek, on a sneak peek reunion, you guys know that Mark Marceau is up there trying to overtalk everybody because he don't want this tea to get out about him and Alonda. But Diana Rose, oh, beautiful. Y'all seen that beautiful young lady? She has slowed it down so you guys can understand it better. Let's take a listen to Diana Rose and how she has uh, slowed the video down. Listen to her, you guys. Slowed down this video and I added some subtitles and Maurice has a horrible poker face for a lawyer. It was asked if she would be willing to come on the girl's trip. And she was going to tell Letitia, hey, I didn't know he was married. This was years ago. No special question. <laughs> Ain't nobody coming on show. Just, just as an intelligent adult, how would Mel know what she was going to come on the show and say? Because we've had conversations. Oh. How did it start? It's How none of your start? business because I would look. I well, got you tell the story. I, tell I, the story. I don't have the full so story. Let, so, you know, let to, yeah, there, so, so let me be very clear. clear. So Who let said me, you so, should come on a girl's trip? So let me be very clear. So let me be very clear. I never said not be a comfort. I'm, if you heard me, you know what? I'm not going to sit here and argue with legs, hips, and breasts. I'm good. Okay. There seems to be this odd conversation that has taken place. You think it was Melody? Okay, you guys, y'all heard it out of his mouth. Y'all heard what Arian said. Arian said while she was talking on her friend in a private conversation with Dana that Alonda been, been uh, with this man for years. And then she said, well, she was stupid for coming on, 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 on the Instagram to try to convince the audience that, you know, my, my soul and she wasn't together. Now, what kind of friends are these? Now, look, Alonda knew that uh, Coleslaw was pregnant and she, be, she was doing Melody's hair. She never once told Melody that Coleslaw was pregnant. Somehow, I guess, allegedly, all of them was double dating at one time. Allegedly, you guys, Marceau and Alonda, Coleslaw and Martel. You guessed it. All things are allegedly on this channel, you guys. The tea gets deeper. Deeper. Stay tuned for the rest of the tea. Don't go nowhere. I didn't know, but yeah, I I did oh, like you. I I I, I kind of miss you too, big for no reason. But uh, you saw how baby child was not, because I think so. She needs to be the fuck out of her I know, baby. I know, I know, I know. She needs to be the one. If they don't want to be being being decided not to, because I'm just like. Uh, I just never wanted to get out, Dana. Like, it's already too fucking much. Like, I never wanted it to, nothing to be confirmed until I was ready. And Melody already done let the cat out the bag. She can say all that other shit, get on there, son. You know that this is miserable. Like, I can say so much, but whatever the fuck. Moving forward, I don't really care what the fuck, the fuck you're doing. And now she up here pissed because I'm going to be, because supposedly they just asked her or talked to her about me being on the show. Now she pissed. What the fuck you did for, bitch? You just stuck for two seasons. What are you this for? And the person that did her hair, we need to tell you. The person that did her hair no more. No, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Remember that time when I was laughing a lot on my Instagram when I was like, uh, never be get your hair stylist when a lot of people trying to reach out to me? When she was trying to reach out to me then, she was trying to apologize to me. She was trying to talk to me. And, I, and, and at that point, her ability wasn't working. 
Yes. Uh-huh. At that point. So I'm not even knowing all this. I'm just like, hey, hey, to me, Jay, there's no point for me in a line of the top. This, what, what? We don't need to be friends. We ain't never talk. I didn't even know who Well, if he was reaching out to you to apologize, it takes a big person to apologize to the big, especially if they still need. So, okay, and I'm saying that, but my whole work was, at the end of the day, you still can't do my motherfucking time. You, you know what I'm saying? Like, I understand, yeah, your friend put you blah, 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 and then I'm not so type to, oh, brother, when you shoot you. I, so we, like, bye guys, see, bye guys, bitch, we can walk, we can be in the same room, bitch, we can sit on the couch together and not, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's just the kind of bitch I We never had no relationship, I never knew a mom from who that motherfucking guy. And then this is another thing. You love me, friend. Y'all not be that friend, bitch. What the fuck you want to talk to me for? Me and my friends saw that. I'll get where if I see you. Get where if I see you. Keep in mind now. She uh, was not in the line of uh, at each other's throat. Yeah, Ariel knows about the alleged cheating with myself. Aaron blasted that on Instagram, so Alana don't want it out. She's trying to smooth things over with Coleslaw, so she will not put out that Marceau is cheating. Yeah, Marceau Scott is cheating, and, and Aaron knows about it. As a matter of fact, they have been on double dates before, but then she, when she started being Melody friends, and Erin gets mad. But anyway, I just want to point out this. She's pregnant right now. And Alana is supposed to be Melody's friend. But all these people smile in her face, knowing that this girl is pregnant by Martel. Okay, Alana knew that. And all this negative energy is passing through the placenta to her son. All that anger is passing through the placenta of her son. Now y'all see the results of what she got. She's pregnant. She's laughing at Melody. But look at what she got. She's an unhappy mother. Get all time. Where? Yes, you know not care about it. My son goes there. My son goes there. Oh, he do. Yeah, you know not care about it. So that's and that's the only place I'd be like if somebody wanted to catch me up. Is I mean I'd be in the car, but like I have been in the reporter. He is very supportive. I think he is doing better now that he he's divorcing her mentally wise. He still if you know how I feel about his kids, so he still is. Not doing well in that aspect because then the kids feel like don't have the structure they used to, and that would be the JBS model. But other than that, I'm okay, fine. Yep, that they needed to split. Like, yeah, let me. But the kids don't get you to get into counseling or asking. Well, they go back and forth. They have to get some type of stress to each other. You think you do that? Yeah, like they have, she has them, and he has them, you know, but they got two different houses and shit like that, so, you know, but, yeah, they, but then when he has them, he has them. Like, he has them and all kinds kids, but my kid don't play about the kids. You do, do you? Do you do that? Melody, a deadbeat mom, but she's paying all the bills in Martell's home. Make that make sense. For the music, don't it? Yeah, uh, he never plays like a kid. Like, no, they need one to take, drop him off, and have him fucking mouth. Uh huh. Girl, my mom, Marlene, got to say, I've seen money, I love money. Oh. <laughs> yeah, she is. 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 Yeah, She's been, how's she feeling that you're pregnant? Um, baby, I'm going to be. Oh, yeah. Are you going to be? Oh, yeah. Um, 
about, um, I don't remember watching her, she asked his name, he was in love with just deep call, he can say that. I don't remember that. Mark tells me he's not going to tell her, do what makes you happy, son. She, she, at the end of the day, then she rides on my fucking son. Um, she rides on my son. Like, she, you know, I mean, she'll tell, tell him how she feels, but at the end of the day, she says, she says, son, do what makes you happy. Do what makes you happy. Now, I don't think that she's just fighting that with me, but if she feel like that they need to be a part of it, shit. Son, do Y'all notice that she's pregnant. They're just gonna divorce, so she feels like Martell Mom is telling him to do what makes he's ha- what makes him happy, and that's her. She's talking a different story now. She talks about Marlene like a doll man, because Marlene don't even allow her in her presence at all. So now she's talking a different story about Marlene. She can't stand Marlene anymore. Okay. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-hmm.